Hiya! Welcome to the Unintentional Part 2 of this Natal Mercury Retrograde request video. This part will cover Hermes in retrograde state in both Pisces and Aries in Natal or birth chart astrology. If you want to know why I'm referring to Hermes and or you want to check out my take on the other 10 signs, or if you're not sure what I mean by retrograde, then please do check out part one. Also do subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoy my content. It will help me in some ways. And um, give the video a thumbs up if you are also inclined. Alrighty, so we move now to Lady Gaga. And excuse the background noise. Um, my neighbors are a bit busy. I have no idea by the way, why I skipped these two lovely ladies. I can only blame my disorganization. <laughs> Please accept my apologies. Anywho, here, Hermes is placed retrograde at 18 degrees Pisces in the 10th house. In part one, we went over Hermes' experiences in Scorpio and Cancer, and you might get the impression then that Hermes doesn't gel so well <laughs> with the water. He wants to fly. He wants the sky. Instead, he's made to swim. His nippy heels are rendered pretty much useless, and he's much slower. And that's just when he's in his direct state. Hermes is also in Lady Gaga's 10th house, and the 10th house briefly pertains to such themes as reputational conscience, and what I call your castle, that is, your hard to hide and hard earned accomplishments, and also the midheaven, how you are perceived in the public imagination. Because Hermes spends a lot of time struggling how to communicate dreamy things, and because in retrograde state he's also super reflective and sort of slowed even more, we can observe how Lady Gaga has often had to defend or explain her outfits, or her stunts, her performances. Piscean energy can create doubt and confusion. It can give off this sense of convolution because even when Hermes helps Gaga express um, that may not be the whole inner yin or Jupiterian story that's going on deep down within Gaga. Hermes placed like this also causes people like Gaga to want to be reputed for her dreamy, for the dreamy all-encompassing creativity. Something that's true and yes, that's all correct, but Gaga also seeks to bring hermetic communication to the global through building something actual and tangible. So this is Hermes or hermetic energy meeting the kind of castle Capricornian 10th house energy. And I think I talked about this once on my channel, but we can also consider Lady Gaga's founding of the Little Monsters website quite a few years ago, which was basically an interactive social media platform for her fans who also were predominantly LGBTQ plus youngsters. Not only is this uh, a brilliant 10th house legacy kind of thing to do, the platform allowed for these youngsters to connect and communicate, that's again hermetic energies, and the Piscean energy comes through when we observe that this platform serves as a confluence of music, fan art, and multiple collective dreams that also chime with 10th house themes of hardship and pain. The 10th house does speak to proving through long, hard work, um, and, and it pertains also to things that are worthwhile taking time before they're shown to the public or in a public light. And so Gaga's Little Monsters space also serves as a castle of sorts for LGBTQ plus youth to continue to put dream energy into the castles that they are building for themselves. Castles that demand a beautiful self-confidence and a belief in spirit. Okay, let us have a sip of my tea before we move on. Mm. Lovely. I'm trying to cut down on coffee, by the way, these days, so I'm just drinking more tea with a little bit of milk and a bit of demerara, darling, demerara. But anyway, let's now take a look at the natal astrology of Leona Lewis, who has Hermes 14 degrees retrograde in Aries in her fourth house. We already saw in part one how Hermes may be in the fourth house when we looked at J.A. J.A. <laughs> J.R.R. Tolkien's chart, or what sort of themes Hermes might have his mind set on. Here, Hermes is in the cardinal fire sign, Aries. 
If you're interested in retrograde Hermes experiences in the other fire signs, Sagittarius and Leo, check out part one, where we looked at Gordon Ramsay and Michael Jackson, respectively. As with when in the other cardinal signs, Capricorn, Libra and Cancer, Hermes and Aries again feels more responsible and regal. It's still fun though, because it's fire and Hermes can dabble here in creativity and brave expressions. In Leona's case, songwriting and performing. If we look at her chart, we also see that Hermes is part of a triple conjunct stellium, with her sun one degree behind him and her Venus also retrograde exactly conjunct or on top of Hermes. Not only is this conjunct stellium in the fourth house, the house of home and the house of heart, this stellium is also very close to her IC, which is that bold black downward arrow you can see exactly opposite the midheaven or the MC, which is in Libra. The IC is perhaps the most homely, sensitive and private point of the fourth house and the entire natal chart. Hermes place like this is therefore likely to be highly anxious about or um, sort of revisiting and reflecting on themes of home, roots and most of all personal comfort zones. Hermes must also here consider the self, reflecting on any time the ego of the individual might have been hurt, as well as also inherently thinking about how his role as creative communicator plays into how the individual relates, how they love and how they flow. The self-sufficient and self-propelling energy of Aries here as well, you can perhaps imagine how fiercely and passionately Leona writes about her heart in particular, protecting it from being hurt. As well as this, finally, her mind is likely often fixated on needing to feel independence to then feel comfortable. And yeah, you can look at Leona's life, you can look back over what she had been doing, uh, leaving Simon Cowell and uh, sort of, maybe not conflict, but uh, sort of leaving uh, labels or label things sort of falling through when it comes to the the music, the industry, and also looking at her, the types of song that she writes and the types of song that she's been involved in writing and um, the sort of themes that she writes about, the fragility of her heart. And uh, <laughs> I keep bleeding, right? Which is one of her um, most famous songs. <laughs> That's what I have to say for Leona Lewis, just very, very briefly. Again, these videos, these, um, this whole little series is quite brief. Um, it would be great in the future to look at these individuals in more astrological depth, but for now this is just my uh, little take on their Hermes or Mercury retrograde placements. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next vid. Take care now, bye-bye.